in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to find trending items on Etsy, not just items you should sell, but trending. Trending is like a viral version of Etsy. How do you find them? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. Hi guys, my name is Vlad. I'm the owner of TagPop. It is the number one pet product store on Etsy in terms of volume and sales. You can check with E-Rank. Let's go ahead and jump on E-Rank. Let's go on comp competition just so that you guys know that I'm not full of it. When you go on competition, top sellers, you click pet supplies and you'll find that. And then you'll be like, hey Vlad, you're number nine. What are you talking about? So if you look at their daily sales, it's like 22 and Pedal Jumper has 36 per day. Now, granted that uh, E-Rank does kind of damp down on the actual uh, numbers. I know that from my own experience, but when you click on mine, you'll find that, hey, look at that, double or triple than some of the competitors. So I know what I'm talking about. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to find trending products so that you can beat everybody to the punch and start selling things that will give you a better chance out there in the market. If you're new to this channel, this is where I help you to scale your Etsy business to new heights. This is not where I promise you easy money. I'm not going to be promise you passive income. There's nothing passive about working hard. In fact, you're going to put in a lot of hours, a lot of work in order to get somewhere. In this channel, I just want to make sure that you don't spend time on things that you shouldn't and be more efficient with your hard work so that you can achieve your goals much sooner, faster, and with more efficiency. So without any further ado, let's jump on my computer and I will show you exactly how I find those trending products and I'm going to leave my favorite one to the end. All right, so here we are on E-Rank. I like to use E-Rank. E-Rank is a great tool to discover the analytics of Etsy. It does it with Etsy mainly. You can do it with Amazon, but it's a great tool to have. I'm not an affiliate with them. They're not, I'm not getting paid for this. I just want to share with you guys what I like to do, what I use. And uh, so E-Rank, uh, I, don't, I don't know if the features that I'm going to be talking about are included in the free trial um, account or the free account. Um, but uh, if, if, if any of this you do have to pay for, I apologize. I would just recommend just getting it. It's a great tool that will uh, really uh, give you a lot of shortcuts and uh, really c clear up what you should be selling and what, what's going to sell better so that you don't waste your time and money. In fact, it might even s save you money because you're not going to invest into products that might not sell by discovering them on E-Rank. All right, so let's get to it. What you want to do is you want to go on trends and you go on trend buzz. I like to use this one because this gives you a good idea of what's out there, what's really popping. Now, you can see there are three different types of stuff here. You can go as far as what style you can go, uh, what people are liking, what kind of products, general products. If you're into a, a general product, um, you want to stay in that niche uh, or of, of the kind of product, you can click on that. Uh, even materials, what people want. Is it cotton? Is it polyester? What people uh, prefer? So, But we're going to go on keywords. We're going to just kind of think about it broad. Um, I want to see what people are clicking at now because I want to think outside the box a little bit. Now, with E-Rank, uh, you have to be careful because um, it gives you information. It gives you raw data, but you as a person have to analyze and, and make assumptions of what that data means. Like, for example, we just came out of Valentine's. Valentine's was on Monday, and some of this data will be coming from the weeks before Valentine's, so, which, which distorts it because people are searching for gifts for him, gifts for her, Valentine gifts, and so on and so on. So you have to be mindful of that. So the way we're going to filter it out is we're actually going to go the past seven days days okay or actually you can even do yesterday so we're gonna apply that and we're gonna get a, a, uh, a, a, a list of keywords that basically uh, show you what was really searched for yesterday what's really interested what people were interested in yesterday and what you want to do when you are uh, looking through this list you want to find keywords that are not general broad but something more specific something more that has a little bit more dis, um, descriptive um, something more specific to uh, the item itself, not just like gifts or t-shirts or earrings or necklace, but something more and more specific because that's what we want to do. We want to find uh, things that are trending that, that we can sell. All right, so yeah, we want to scroll through and just kind of find some of the things that are interesting to us. Now, I don't really, I don't really pay too much attention to this because these are not always accurate because this is assumption when we do a... Um, 
we, let's say we do uh, filter out to one to seven one day or like yesterday or past seven days um, it really can't make it can't really determine whether it's really hot or or not because it you know when you're doing such a shorter small uh, shorter amount of sampling it, it, it tends to be very um, it moves up and down volatile if I should if I should say um, so all right so I, I, I really like this enamel pin uh, I I'm, I'm hope I'm pronouncing it correctly um, oh, this is great. Okay, so I'm going to explain what I like in, the, in this whole situation. So um, this box right here, it's, it's kind of important. So it tells you that there are 30,000 searches per month on this product, which means this product is in demand, right, on Etsy. The people are, on average, 30,000. That's really good. So if you look at the pie chart, uh, or the, sorry, the graph here, you'll when we move this out, now Jan, uh, January and February are always a low month for a lot of products, but on general it's a pretty high search item, which is very surprising. Um, and then there's uh, the click through rate is a very important one. Click through rate just means that they're, they have the intentionality when they are searching for this. They're not just window shopping. They're not just brainstorming because those people that window shop, they tend to spend a lot of money on, um, you know, they, they, they tend to spend your advertisement money. So you want to stay away from things that have a lower click through rate and find something with a higher click through rate. Like in this case, um, this just means that when they're going to click on your, um, they're more likely to click, uh, search, click and buy. So that's a great, great sign. Now competition. I always say this, ignore this 50,000 or more competition on when you're searching through E-Rank. It just doesn't mean anything. Uh, a lot of the competitors that uh, are there, they just post a listing with that keyword in it but they're not really excited to really push this product forward. Or a lot of people having just good price, good photos, and um, good processing time, you really can outrank most of the people on this competition that uh, we see here in E-Rank. So I, I always ignore that, no matter, uh, you know, some, sometimes like if you're selling necklaces, that's a very, very competitive field, that, that, that's true. But, but for the most part, in this, uh, when you see 50,000 or more, it's, it means nothing. Now, one thing that's really exciting for me is that this chart right here, this chart is actually very, very important. So when I click Google, uh, you can see that it, Google is a, is a, or Etsy is a fierce competitor to Google in this product. And uh, Google is massive, right? It, Etsy is very little compared to Google. So if we go ahead and find another uh, keyword, you'll see that this is actually not common. Let's go pillowcase, and this is normal, right? Where Google is significantly above the Etsy, and Etsy is not even close to where Google is, right? So th that's, that's the normal. When you see something like this, this really is a good sign that just means when people think of enamel pins, they think of Etsy right in the same way they think of google but now i do know how enamel pins are are made or or how they're how people sell them on etsy they do go on google to find in custom enamel pin and as a graphic designer i design i go on google to find custom enamel pins and i order them by bulk and then they send them in and then i resell them on etsy right so that's probably the only reason why google has that amount of searches uh, and so most likely it's on Etsy that they go to find them. So this is a great sign. It just means that they're, they're thinking of Etsy to go uh, to buy enamel pins and they have a high click through rate. So you're in a good place to sell this product. So what I do with this information, I go back to Etsy and I start to t uh, type in enamel pin. So did I, no, I misspelled it. I mean, uh, so what you want to do is whoops you want to do you want to type in that full keyword and leave it to to the autocorrect and see what the first thing that pops up and the first thing is anime now what's really interesting when i was scrolling through these um the searches i discovered that anime i don't know if i can find it here but anime right here was one of those uh trending keywords so it's trending on here and auto auto uh, autofill is filling it up here so you know we're going to go check it out so we're, we're clicking so we're kind of combining two of the trending keywords that we found on it and autocorrect fill it now that was just a treat right there just that autocorrect well it was a treat that we had it on on the third trending to be the same keyword but sometimes you want to leave it to autocorrect and see what's the first thing that come uh, pops up so um let's see what we want to do 
Um, just let's go, let's go on this one. This is, oh, that's probably a backpack. I was going to say that's really expensive. Um, so let's see how much they're selling per day. What's their, what's their activity on this product. And the way I like, I like to do that. If you are, if you haven't watched my recent channels, you want to make sure you have reviews for this, uh, item. You want to go to the newest review and you want to see how many reviews they're getting each day. Usually it's one review per 10, five to 10 sales. So let's see. Uh, this seems like it's the same person. Um, so I'm just going to count that as one. So on the 18th so, uh, and then one on 17th, one, two, three on this. Oh, that's a one person. So one on the 16th, two, three. So three on the 16th, one, two, three on the 54. Oh uh, yeah. Three on the 15th. I'll count this as one person 14. So on the 14th, one, two, three. So on the four, so on average, they're getting about three reviews a day. They've been kind of slower in terms of reviews in the beginning, but on average three reviews a day, which means on this product, the anime, uh, enamel pins, they're getting, you know, I, I, I so like three reviews. So they're, they're getting anywhere from, um, 15 to 20 sales per day on just this listing. So that's a great, great sign. So by the way, if you're into graphic design, this is a great product. Basically what you do is you design, you, you, if you use your graphic design skills, design something that looks cool. And you obviously have to know like where the colors are going to be filled and how it needs to be designed. And then you buy a, a batch from a manufacturer that makes enamel pins and they send it to you and then you can just resell it on Etsy. So this is a great little, little business idea. So, and they're selling it pretty good. So if they're selling it 15 to 20 sales per day on $10, that's not bad. That's 150 to $200 in sales per day. You know, if they're, you know, whatever their profit margin is, that's, pre that's pretty good on just this listing on just this listing. So, all right, so here it goes. So here's my favorite. So when you go on Etsy and actually, I actually like to use Etsy and not uh, E-Rank for this one. Um, so what you do, for example, let's go coffee cup. Let's just throw coffee cup. I like coffee, we all like coffee. And so basically what you wanna look for is something that doesn't have that many sales, something that, not a big store, something that relies on the keyword research or, or something that relies on the algorithm that to drive the traffic to your store, to your sales. So if, if a store has a lot of traffic, um, the traffic could come from other products that they're really successful in. So it's hard to see um, that, hey, th this product is selling really well. Is the traffic coming from the search engine or are they, is it coming from their store? So, but if you find a small cap store, then you know that the, there's no traffic coming from their store. There's just traffic coming from this item. So if you can find an item that is that a small store that is re really dependent on one item that's really selling really well, then you know that that item is a hot seller. Now, also the way you want to do that. So first, let's go ahead and find a smaller store. So you want to look at reviews. Um, so let's go at this one. This is a really cool one. You want to find, uh, um, uh, you basically you want to find a small cap store, which is 500 sales. You don't want to go too too small sales, but you do want to find a store that has, um, doesn't have 500 probably the, the the minimum so 500 sales and usually these kind of stores have an overweighted amount of sales to one item so you click on their reviews and you want to do um newest and you want to find a product that's repeating over and over and over that means they're selling mostly that one product so we can see this jar is obviously the winner <laughs> so let's go back to the store um, and let's go ahead and click on this jar and that's the jar that we came across so what we want to see is here. Uh, so this shop has 52 reviews and 32 of those reviews come from this product. So let's go ahead and go on the newest and again, confirm with the, uh, the, the reviews. So the 17, the 16, the 16, the 15, so that they just, and also what one thing that you want to want to check and see how old is this store. So when you go shop uh, reviews for the shop, you go on, yeah, we go on newest. You can even go on the very first review and see when they started selling this product. So they haven't started selling this product, uh, in October, even in the beginning of their store. So you want to, you want to go, go back to where that product began to sell. So probably right about there. So December, um, yeah. So December seems to be their first review. So from December, um, they started to sell. Let's go open up, open up our, our uh, um, calendar and let's go. Yeah. So December was da, 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 January, December. So yeah, just literally two months, maybe even less than two months 
the, yeah, the end of December. So this is, yeah, this is probably a month and a half and they're already selling. Um, let's see, let's go back to the front page or the, the, the front page of this. Um, so yeah, so 17, 16, 16. So definitely at least one review a day, two on the, on that one day. So 15, okay, skip the day, but more for the most part, one review a day. So that's about five to 10 sales just on this product month and a half ago. Now we need to confirm this. Okay. So we've just discovered, Hey, wildflower cup, ice cup, coffee, or ice, coffee cup right and, and and this also gives you ideas how to design if you are into like design let's say you want to design a mug you, you get an idea like this you're like oh hey wild floral is something that's really popular it seems like well let's just confirm that so let's go back to coffee cup coffee cup we're going to coffee cup and uh oh come on we're gonna confirm that with the other small stores that might be popping up. So this one, uh, this one got caught my eye before that one, but let's go ahead and check this out. This one's actually ranking, it seems like it's ranking really well uh, just on the coffee cup. So, so we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna, uh, okay, so we see on this has 80 reviews out of the 165. So that's like half of the reviews come from this product. So that's a great, great sign. And we're gonna go uh, the newest. So we, we have reviews uh, on the 17th, on the 12th, okay, there's, there's a few days skip there, 11th, 11th, on the 10th, so that's great. So sometimes when there's a skip in, in the reviews, it means just they ran out of inventory for a period. Um, and so yeah, so that confirms that this is a great product. So two, two small cap stores, this one's 1,000, the other one's 500, have an overweighted amount of sales for this product. That goes to show you that, hey, if you wanna start selling this product, a month and a half to two months of selling, a product like this, you might get to two, five to 10 sales per day on this product. Now you just have to figure out how to make and yada, yada. And also I would pay attention on how they do the photography. It's a very light and airy and very up to date photography. So this is really cool. Um, look at their video. Yeah, this is great. So if you can make something looking similar to that, there's no reason you shouldn't get close to that. Now, obviously you're going to be competing with them on that, but it seems like the other co coffee cup, um, uh, person, it's kind of similar. I mean, they're definitely thinner florals. I'm curious. I, I, I would check these out and see if are they successful, as successful as these people. And if they're not, hey, maybe don't add the green, don't add the color. This is something that they like. So that's how I think when it comes to finding trending products, trending designs, trending looks and brands and photography. Um, so hopefully this was uh, this was useful. If it was, bless me now by leaving a like in the, uh, on this video. Hey, comment on the bottom if you like this idea, if this was helpful. Have you used any of my techniques in the other videos? I would be, I would be very excited to, to read those. And uh, until next time, have a great day.